Welcome into Rewind, Dusty Litster, Dane Stewart, brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. Going through the top five teams in our top 25 here on the Rewind. And then not only that, look out for the next video, the five teams to look out for outside the top 25. But Dane, Utah, Utah Army National Guard, new partnership that we have, yeah. the big sponsor here on uh, the Rewind. And one of the great things about the National Guard is there are other ways of learning jobs. But not only that, how about some signing bonuses? To help you out as well. Yeah, how about up to twenty thousand dollar in signing bonus, uh, depending on occupation. So a lot of opportunities here, and of course that's just a bonus, right? I mean, there's also opportunity to have uh, National Guard help pay for college, and so a lot of great opportunities. You mentioned learning those next job skills, bettering yourself in your life. Uh, visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. You know, one of the reasons we love covering football, and I talked to some people about this, it's the leadership stuff. Yeah. And you want to learn not only to, to do a job, you want to learn the leadership skills, going to help you be the best manager you could be in the future, and everything else. Right here in the National Guard is a yeah. certain place to get it done and help you out. All right, let's jump right into our top five teams. And yeah, you might some number six might have something to say about this. If you're an AF, say, hey, we were in the 6A championship yeah. game. <laughs> How about the reigning 4A champion now into 5A yeah. in the Orem Tigers? Boy, this is going to be a good year. And Dusty, there's not a lot of five star recruits in the country. We got one of really? them in the state this year. An old Sewell. Yeah. Young man, going to run the ball going to come up and pop you in the mouth on the defensive side. And, uh, I mean, you can really just start there with his and contribution. Jump over I mean, in the semifinal, he averaged 30 yards a carry and had, like, four touchdowns. Kids don't do that. So get out to Orem this year. Go check out an Orem game. Very few opportunities to see a player of his caliber in the state of Utah. And believe me, I think Orem's going to rely on him a lot. How about one of the best offensive linemen in the state in San Matia? Uh, he'll be up front for Orem, has been starting since a freshman. But then you look at Tui Severa, uh, looking like he'll be quarterback there. Uh, they've got a couple of other guys that are in the mix for that starting job. Uh, but when you look at Orem, Dusty, it is all going to be about the young man school this year. Well, absolutely. I mean, isn't it amazing? You have Puka Nakua, one of the top wide receivers in the yeah. country. And the next year at the same school, you got the top one of the top recruits in the country. Yeah. Literally a young man that could say, um, I want to go here. And they go, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a nice problem yeah. to have. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and now it's going to change a lot. Different region. Now region seven. Yep. Yep. Going to feel a little bit more like it was three years ago yep. as opposed to the last couple of years. Very interesting. I know most teams, most people in the state who cover and watch high school football, very interested to see what happens with Orem. Yeah. Like they got to go through more of a gauntlet and certainly going to see that. How about number four? This is a team normally in the top two in the last few years, but yeah. you got to figure them out, and that is number four, and maybe give them a little bit of bolton board material. <laughs> There's a certain coach with the red beard. Yeah. I know he's going to do that, and that is uh, the East High Leopards coming in at number four. You can text us and give us guff over this one, coach, but uh, you look at East. This is a team that got so banged up last year. At one point, I think they were on their sixth-string quarterback. Right. Isaac Zimmerman started that playoff game against PG. Looks like he's going to be the starter this year. Lengthy kid, a little bit different. Uh, mode of quarterback is what they've had in the last couple years. How about this? Coach Maddich realized, hey, we, we maybe need to re-examine how we're doing some things. They participated in sevens tournaments this yeah. year, Dusty. I mean, now look, we're not saying they're going to go spread. Coach Maddich is like, we're still going to run the football a little bit. But Zimmerman, a young man that can throw the ball a little bit. And so it'll be interesting to see what that East offense looks like this year. But you look at, I mean, East up front. Offensive line, defensive line is what Coach Maddich has built. Voy Tunuafi. Watch out for him. Played as a freshman. Started last year as a sophomore. This kid is going to be unreal. I had a, a friend at East. He was like, he might be the best to come through in a long time. That says a lot, uh, folks. They've been we, placing guys for well, years. We got a six-letter name guy that's going to start as a freshman at LSU. Yeah, you got Nick Session, uh, committed to Utah State. Go Aggie, ahead, Aggie, hey, hey, hey. And uh, he's a dynamic athlete from California. Played last year for East. They've got a lot of pieces. Might be some new faces and some new places, but Coach Maddich has built a stellar program, and watch out for East. They are going to be a major factor this year. Always. Yep. Always going to be a major factor. And all we're looking for, coaches, if you start doing a picture, are you doing this with us? <laughs> You'd be in the top five or two, two every year. So, oh, you know, that's man. always the, the look. But we no, we love East. That's good for we credibility yeah. right there. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Team number three. Coming in at number three. I'd catch a little gut for this because we battle this one out a little bit. They're usually number one. But right now they're number three, yeah. and I want to talk about some bulletin board material, the Bingham Miners. Ah, Coach Lamborn doesn't care. Hey, he partici participates in sevens. Yeah. You know, and it's, wins cra them. it's crazy when you look at this Bingham squad, and there's a lot of people that have them projected as number one. I know coaches voted had them at number one. And it's hard to find a returning starter who contributed last year. Now, I, 
I'm sure that there are that, players that I'm missing. And this is so difficult because rosters aren't completed. And I mean, this is like a 50-50 shot here. I know people will reach out to me on Twitter, and that's fine. I can take it. But you look at this Bingham squad. Dusty, they are going to be at the near, competing for a region title. They're going to be competing for a state championship. But you look at all the guys they lost last yeah. year. Wimmer graduated. Uh, Whistler obviously got hurt. They didn't play with him for most of the year. Samote Peppa. But you, Longy, Atta, Atta, Hamilton. Pa I mean, the list is long of players that Bingham lost last year. It's been a stellar program in this year. It's dominated the state for the last 10, 15 years. Yep. Bingham's going to be just fine. But when you look at some of the teams ahead of them and the town they return, Bingham, here's your bulletin board. Go out, prove us wrong. <laughs> hey, and it's just preseason. Yeah. What we were doing this is for bit clickbait and everything <laughs> else. <so. laughs> but we know it. Coach Lamborn, and here's the thing. These five teams make up the top two classifications, but we expect every one of them to compete yeah. for the championships in each of their classifications. Yeah. Yep. So I'll take it for what it is. All right, number two. Now, this is really where we battled this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I let him win Dusty's on some still things. Undecided. Yeah. No, I'm not a, I know where I go. Hey, about number two. Yeah. The reigning 5A champion, newcomer to 6A, the Corner Canyon Chargers. How about this? There's not a lot of teams. Well, in fact, there's no teams that can say that they had four football players go and win the 4x100 state championship. Corner Canyon can. You return one of the best quarterbacks in the state in Cole Hagen. Young man's going to have a number of opportunities ahead of him. By the way, he had a pretty good year last year, 37 touchdowns, yeah. and uh, didn't play Just most of the second half, yeah. you know, in fairness. You've got Noah Kerr over the middle. You've got a young name to watch in Cody Hagen, the younger brother of Cole. In fact, Cody will be the backup quarterback, but it's going to be Kerr and Hagen lined up in the slots. Speed all over the place on that offensive side, and Austin Bell out of the backfield. By the way, Van Fillinger lining up on that defensive line, young man going to go hook them at the University of Texas. Corner Canyon is loaded. There's one team in this state in the national top 100 rankings. It's Corner Canyon. Hey, not to mention a middle linebacker in Wilson. Yeah. He's a pretty doggone good linebacker. Yeah. Got some good yeah. bloodlines there too. So that defensive side, I don't think will regress that much. You got a lot of pressure up front. You got a lot of good players. I mean, this is right now, my opinion, Yeah. the top program in the state. I have my number one. How, how about out another addition? Out. Steven Street. Fantastic right. linebacker Jordan, now at Corner Canyon. So all they did was just add talent. Had a, had a certain person that goes to Corner Canyon come talk to me. He said, hey, let me talk about this kid that transferred from Jordan saying he's amazing. Steven? I think I was like, hey, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to watch what yes, happens to Corner is. Canyon. That transition is never easy, yeah. but Eric Kerr knows it. That offense is that good. And when you return the guys that they're returning, the positions they're returning them. Yeah. 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 I, we, we just, yeah, I wasn't going to fight it out too much. <laughs> All right, number one, number one, obviously, of all the guy, all the teams we haven't mentioned, number one, the reigning 6A champion. Can be surprised or not, I don't really give a rip. Yeah. The number one team in this state coming back, the Lone Peak Knights. I know there's a lot of people that are probably like, wait, what? But you do remember they won. To it. You do remember here's, they won the 6A state championship. Here's the last deal, year. and what they do it with, they did it with their defense. How about they returned probably well some of the best defensive players in the state. When you look at Nate Ritchie, what he brings, <laughs> right. Jared Fotu, look, they took the top offense in the state last year, got beaten every offensive statistical category, and beat them for a state championship. This team is built on its defense. By the way, they graduated Braden Siri, but J.D. Neilman, remember, he came in last year for, I think, three and weeks and him. started yeah, was a and won games him, yeah. for him while um, Siri was hurt. Meanwhile, they graduate Mason Wake, so that running game is going to look different, but they have Daniel Yamada, young man who played last year. He's going to be real key in that offense. This Lone Peak team returns a ton of starters. Last year they did it with defense. They've got the guys to do it again this year. Going to be fun to watch. Battle for one and two. Our debate going to be proved in region play. That's yeah, going to be absolutely. the best thing of this whole thing. How awesome is that? We have a lot of region yeah. games that are going to decide this. And all that, the RPI will make a bunch of different decision yep. as well. But here's another name to look up for, John Henry Daly. Yes. Remember we yeah. talked to Mr. Michael Daly. He said, hey, we, you know you won my stuff, but everybody else is worried about my brother. <laughs> <laughs> thinks he's better. Uh, you got a great defensive coordinator in Ryan yeah. Denny. He knows exactly what he's doing. You got John Daly, uh, John Henry Denny. He's going to be really, really good. But a name that's also leaving, make sure you mention too, uh, it's looking back, and that is Kobe Freeman being gone. They got to yes. replace that yeah. too. Yeah. So it'd be very, very interesting. But when you look at Coach Bart Brockbank, when a state championship, get things going, the biggest thing, and he talked about the complacency, he doesn't think he'll see it, but the biggest change is can you get that chemistry back? Yeah. They lost that game at AF, yeah. all the white helmets, all the things. 
and then he turned it, they turned it around as a team. Yeah. It is a leadership. What can you do? That is what's going to tell you the difference in this program. Do you yeah. have it built when that leadership's there? That's what Bingham has. That's what East has. Can Lone Peak put that together? Yeah. That's going to be the biggest change can, to continue to be that team up at Rice Eagle Stadium playing in that 6A championship game. Yeah. Do you have it? Very well stated. I love that point. I think you're spot on. Now, can you get it back? Yep. What do you think? Hit us up. Yeah. We know. We, we spurned some people. Yeah. Got it. But hey, <laughs> rating 6-8 champs, they deserve their due. And they yeah. return guys. They're going to make things different. Not just going to give you that one and two simply because the letters on the side of your helmets. Right. Coaches preach that all the time. We're not doing it either. <laughs> Got to go prove it on the field. But the, well, let us know what you think of our top 25, not out of our top five. Look out for the other video, one of the most watched videos we have. Yeah. The other five, the five teams outside the top 25, go check them out. For Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for watching Rewind on DeseretNews.com.